Hey everyone, it's Matt with Tar Heel Digging. 2015, here we go. New season, right? <laughs> 37 degrees out right now, guys. I know I'm half crazy, but the sun is out. It's uh, it's not windy at all, so I'm pretty comfortable right now. Just threw a couple of extra layers on and off we go into the woods. All right, I got a couple of foundations over here. I've got a lot of iron in the ground right here. So I'm coming in with two-tone ferrous in the E-Track and then I just kind of hunt these pockets in here. See if I can find something I've missed before. So stay tuned. Okay, I got a 12-15 signal about three inches down here. And I pulled this out. I thought it was going to be a little flat button at first. Um, doesn't look like there's any decoration on it. Looks like a rivet. What it might be is uh, one of those wafers off of a J-hook. Okay guys, lots of iron in here, but in that hole right there, and it's only a couple inches down, pulled this out. Little tiny thimble. I think it's in pretty good shape too. Yeah, look at that. Certainly not silver. Yeah, it's in nice shape. Alright. Okay guys, about 12.44 on the E-Track, and about 6 inches down here. Let's see if I can see what this is down here. I just got down to it and I haven't uncovered it yet. And there's something right here. It looks like a, a washer or a button, perhaps. It might be a button. Oh, there's a shield right there. You see that? This might be a flattened, flattened general service or... Uh, or something similar to it. Oh, okay. Maybe it's a great shield. Sure, that's what that is. It's got to be a great shield button. Yeah, there it is. Very nice. All right. That is pretty cool. World War One, probably. This looks like a two-piece button. These are made between World War One and World War Two. It looks like I've got a back mark on there pretty nice shank is missing hey we'll take it gotta love the great seal buttons hey everyone it's Matt with Tar Heel Digging back out at the bean field again today I guess we can nickname it flat button field I've got uh, the first signal of the day right here 1217 looks like an old tomback button so we're off and running Got Woody with me today. Give us a shot, Woody. All right. We're going to see what we can do. Stay tuned. Okay, gang, a little windy out here. Sorry about that. About two inches down out here. I just found this. It was a 1235. Thought it was going to be half of a button, but I'm not so certain. I see a design or something on the bottom. Maybe some words. I don't know. Looks like it was cut. And it looks like it was cut a long time ago. It's definitely not silver, definitely copper, but it could be an old copper coin. Hard to say, gang, but I'll do my best to clean it up a little bit. Okay, gang, a nice deep 1220 on the E track, about six inches down. Threw up a pile here, and I'm liking what I'm seeing right here. Can you see it? Looks like it's going to be a complete J hook. Oh, it is broken. That's all right. It's a J-hook. We will take it. Twelve twenty-seven, about four inches down. Got a little flat button. Actually, it's a pretty good size flat button. Doesn't look like there's anything on it. It's real thin. Another little flat button, gang. About four inches down. Eleven twenty on the E-track. Put the shank on the back. We'll take it. Another 1127 here, guys, right up by the road. And I pulled this clump out. I see a little green disc in there. I'm guessing that's going to be a flat button. It just seems a little too thin to be a coin. Let's break it open and find out. There we go. Let's 
think there's going to be a shank still on it. Can't tell if there's a design on there or not. Alright, well we'll clean it up. We will take it. Okay everyone, time for the paper towel wrap up brought to you once again by Bounty. Well, I had a lot of fun out there, gang. Uh, the woods hunt, I was by myself. And then in the field hunt, I met up with Woody. And another guy came out, G-Dog. And then another guy came out, all the way down from Virginia, Lee. It was nice to meet with Lee and see G-Dog out there. And uh, the four of us just had a great time in that field, guys. Just want to go over some of the things that I found real quick here. Got some various lead bullets over here, mostly modern. Got a couple little buckballs there. This thimble was pretty cool. That's a nice little find. I, I like finding these thimbles, even if they're not silver. Real small. And then, of course, the typical flat buttons out in those fields that we always get. I thought this might have been a wafer off of a uh, J-hook, but it looks like the piece that was attached to it there was hollow, so I'm kind of doubting it at this point. Not really sure what that is. Might just be a, a newer button. Um, I did find a, a square nail that looks like it was made out of brass. You can find these every now and then. I always like finding those. Those are pretty cool. Um... This piece, guys, this little half piece, I cleaned this up as best I could, and I still can't see anywhere on here that it was a coin, front or the back. They're completely toast. I can't even see where it might have been a button either, for that matter. But, I don't know. If you got any ideas on that one, let me know. It might be just a scrap piece of metal. Who knows? But I was really hoping to see uh, uh, some markings on there that would indicate it was an old coin, but not so. Uh, I did find this little tomback button. It was one of the first things I found in the field. Shank is gone, but otherwise it's in pretty decent shape. And then the best find for me in the woods was this great seal button. Cleaned up real nice. And it's one of the more rare back marks on it. It says, um, oh, what's it say on the back here? Uh, Art Metal Works. Uh, yeah, the Art Metal Works Company. Newark. Newark, New Jersey. Get you a good look at that. And you can see the shank was completely gone. Otherwise, it's in nice shape. Really liked finding that one. That was pretty sweet. So, it was a great hunt. It was fun to get out. The weather has been tough, man. It's been tough to get out lately, but we'll see what happens here. It is January, and it is North Carolina. They're expecting freezing rain tomorrow, but a nice weekend coming up. So, hope to get out then. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.